In a letter dated 9th November, UPDF Chief Political Commissar Colonel Fenihas Katirima asked the Electoral Commission not to nominate UPE MP Francis Kionga, saying he's an army deserter. He was given a service number. This gentleman never formally retired from service. And if they want me to join the UPDF, I can't join as a private. I command 100,000 people in Pokot. The lawmaker says he only served as a spy in the internal security organization ISO on the directives of President Museveni when he lost his seat in 2001. President's office offered me a job. The job which was available was to work in ISO. Kionga was a member of the Constituent Assembly for UPE in 1994-95 and later the 6th Parliament. He, however, bounced back in the 8th Parliament. For some time now, Kionga has been clashing with the army, accusing some UPDF officers of human rights abuses and killings in Karamoja during the disarmament process. Lieutenant Colonel Mwozi was mentioned because those, some of 20 of those who died, died uh, under his command of special forces group. He has never, never in capital letters, commanded the NF force in that region. Uh, Colonel Kulage went beyond that and said, I was not only a sympathizer of cattle thieves, but I was also a cattle rustler myself. Arresting Chiyonga, what benefit will it gain the UPDF? I want to become a colonel for arresting him. I don't need extra weight, I'm already heavier than him in terms of size. So what would I benefit in arresting an individual called Chiyonga? Indeed, international human rights organizations have called for independent investigations into Kiyonga's claims. The MP has now gone to court to restrain the army from blocking his nomination. But the Electoral Commission has invited the two parties for a meeting to resolve the impasse. Uh, we consider this as one of the complaints which arise during the electoral process. We have uh, given audience to both parties tomorrow in our meeting, Thursday. We shall hear them, both parties and uh, see how we handle the issue. Nominations for members of parliament is scheduled for Thursday and Friday next week. Kionga now says the move to stop his nomination is politically motivated.